Welcome to Fall into Crafting. This week's project, we're making a lighted ghost. All we're going to need for this is some cheesecloth, or I did find it's called creepy cloth in the Halloween section at the Dollar Tree. That would also work. We're going to need some felt or vinyl or a marker to make the eyes, a string of fairy lights, or you could also use a battery operated candle some Mod Podge or Elmer's glue, and some water. I used a gallon Ziploc bag, or you could put it in a container if you'd rather. And you're going to need some jars or vases or different things to make the height of your ghost. And you're also going to need your glue gun and any decorations that you might want to put on your ghost. Okay, so we're going to start off by deciding how big we want our ghost to be. And you'll see I'll put, I put a little plastic bowl on top of a jar because then that'll give me like the rounded um, top for the head. You could also use like a styrofoam ball or a blow up a balloon. And now we're going to straighten out the cheesecloth and kind of decide how big I want it to be. Just cut it down to size, decide what, how big you want it and how much overflow you want. You could always put another layer on top of it later. And then I stuck the whole thing on top of some styrofoam and I put in some dowel rods where I want the arms to be. If you want your arms sticking out, then you could put them out to the side. If you don't want arms at all, you could skip the dowel rods. Next, we're going to get the glue stuff ready. This is where we're going to take Mod Podge or Elmer's glue and mix it with a little bit of water. You're going to use two parts of the glue Mod Podge and one part of the water. You can stick it in there and start all up good and then put your cheesecloth in and squish that around and get it nice and wet. Then before you take it out you're going to want to drain out some of the squeeze out some excess moisture so it's not dripping. And then you're just going to put it on top of your form. Play with it until you get it in the right spot. Don't forget your arms. And then if you want, you can always add extra. Um, on mine, I actually pulled, I had like two layers of cheesecloth. I pulled the layers apart to make them a single layer and then put both layers on. Plus I actually did another piece of the cloth just to give it a little extra. Once you have your ghost the way you'd like them, you're going to actually let it dry perfectly overnight. You're going to want it pretty good and dry. It'll take a little bit of time to dry. And then once it's dry, we'll start taking it apart. Now you'll notice that mine is a little more flimsy than I probably would like. Um, if that happens to yours, you could get a bottle of um, fabric stiffener and just spray it down. But mine was good enough. The bottom edges were a little um, still damp. So I just kind of fluffed it all out the way I wanted it. And um, it'll continue to dry. So I decided I wanted to put this little pumpkin in the hands of my ghost. So this I got from a, a Dollar Tree spray. So I just made a stem for it because it had a long stem and then figured out how to stick it in the hands and with some hot glue, glued it in there.
Next, I used um, vinyl for the eyes, cut it with my Cricut. So those are just stick on. You can see here where it's a little squishy. And I later went in up and pushed from the inside so they would stick a little better. Next, we're going to add our fairy lights. If you don't have fairy lights, you could also put a battery operated candle inside. Another fun thing that you could do is when you're doing the Mod Podge in the water, you also could add a little bit of um, glow in the dark powder or glow in the dark paint, and then your ghost would also glow in the dark. And there you got it. Thanks so much for joining me around the craft table again today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and follow. I hope to see you again next week.